Yo, what's up guys, it's James here, and today, ooh, as I said in yesterday's video, E3 is this week, and we're gonna have loads of zombie intel, not even just zombie intel, we're gonna have intel for all of E3's announcements on this channel, so if you're excited for that, if you're excited for Call of Duty Zombies, if you're excited for anything to do with E3, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and also subscribe as well for any of the updates for E3, but I can tell you now, Treyarch, you've done it again, you've already surprised us by saying we can have free, free maps on the disc when it comes out. You've already said that. So you said that you set the standard to here. Thought, you know what? That's a good standard. Let's smash it up to there. There's going to be four on-disc maps when this game comes out. Three was unheard of. Four is just insane. That's an entire DLC season's worth of content on the game as it comes out. With no additional cost. So just before I start going on and on and on about how just amazing it is we've got a fourth map. Let's actually look at some of the details about what they've said at E3 today. So today there was a community announcement for various special editions of COD Call of Duty Black Ops 4 that would be available to purchase, such as a digital deluxe, a digital deluxe enhance, and a pro edition. So let's quickly run over what these different editions give you. Starting with the digital deluxe edition. With this you get the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 game, you get the Black Ops Pass, which includes the new zombie map experience, Classified. I'll go into what I think that is in a minute. Four additional all-new zombie experiences, which is probably what we're used to getting in a DLC season. 12 multiplayer maps. Four exclusive blackout characters, which a lot of people think is going to be our zombie characters. Digital bonus items, which could be something like a special camo. That's what they've done in the past. 2,400 Call of Duty points, or COD points. And of course, guys, with any of these digital editions, you get the private beta as well, which comes out. Moving on to the Digital Deluxe Enhanced Edition. With this, you get everything I just mentioned, with the additional 8,500 COD points instead. And now we have the Pro Edition. With this, you get everything I've mentioned previously. You also get the hard steel book edition of the game. You get a pop socket, which would be an interesting thing to have. 10 specialist patches, free zombie inspired collectible art cards, and 1,000 odd points, which is an odd one considering the cheaper versions, not the pro version of the game. You get 8,000 COD points. I know a lot of us are expecting a zombie pass or so some sort of zombie package to be announced, but now it's speculated that's actually going to be announced at Comic Con later in the year. But it could happen. It's still early days. It could happen on Wednesday. We just had to wait and see. Let's talk about what the Black Ops Pass is and what that gives us. So previously, you get the Season Pass, which allows you to get four DLCs throughout the season. It'll come with a couple extra multiplayer maps and then one additional zombie map. The Black Ops Pass will offer more frequent content drops to keep the game fresh by implementing new maps and content regularly, which is so, so good. That's something that we, the entire multiplayer community, zombie community, and just the gaming community in general have been screaming about, which is why Fortnite have done so well, just consistent updates. They threw in trolleys the other week, just threw it in, see what happens. They're testing things out all the time. So, with a new zombie map being announced, obviously the community is going crazy about what this map could possibly be. That's always the question. What's it going to be? We had a London map yesterday. What's it going to be today? Now, there's one thing that stands out to everybody in the artwork. Let me show you some. So, with the new artwork, there's something that stands out to everybody really, really obviously. So, let me, let me, so let me type in classified. Bring that into the center. If you were to write classified in a normal font, this is what it would look like. The key point about this is the A. Most A's have a triangle in the middle. However, this one doesn't. It has a pentagon. Now, what map do we know has a pentagon? It's five. So is this going to be a remaster version of 5? Now I don't think this is going to be a straight remaster of 5, like we have the Giant and things like that. It's just the same map, rehashed. We've never had it remastered before. And also it's not called 5 Remastered, it's called Classified. So they might be going down the same route they are with Blood of the Dead. It's like an expansion of the map we know. We would have new areas, new story, and a new look on how we play that map. If that's true, bring it on. The Pentagon Thief is is a really, really annoying boss, but I think they'll mix it up. I think they won't have the Pentagon Thief again. They'll probably have something very similar, but bring on the challenge. If you made it this far into the video, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>